after live. You got that. Hello, everybody. I'm down here digging out a pan. The one I want may be over here, but it's not. I'm making them a simple dinner tonight. I'm doing nachos. We're just going to ground up, brown up some ground beef. Put some taco uh, seasoning in it. I've got nacho cheese heating up here in the crock pot. I don't know if y'all can see that. That little crock pot has nacho cheese in it. And we're ground up, grounding up our ground beef. Well, we, we're going to start it now. I didn't have the eye on. Um, let's start out with this. Where did I just use my seasoning? how many people we got in here. Everybody hit that share button for me. I'm sure it's 82. Like I said, just doing a simple dinner tonight. <coughs> um, they all love nachos, so, you know, they can throw some whatever they want on top of them. Sour cream, whatever. But I think for the most part, my, my family likes them with just meat and cheese. There is a fruit fly in this kitchen that is about to drive me crazy. It's been driving me crazy, too. And I don't know why. There's, it's not like I have piles of trash or anything. No, there's nothing in here, but... There's nothing in here that should be drawing fruit flies. I wonder if they, if they come in because of the sink grains. That's the only thing I can figure. Yeah, could be uh, drain flies. Laura says, hey, she's at dinner. She'll catch me back. Hey, Laura, have a good dinner. Go live later tonight on the other page that we're going to craft. Okay, now we're getting some heat behind it. Y'all make sure you're hitting that share button for me and make sure you're throwing those hearts and thumbs up. Let's get Facebook to get me into the algorithms. shares. Y'all share for me. My family loves 
the taco meat on top of their nachos. I'm probably going to do uh, myself another chicken quesadilla for dinner because I won't eat this. Um, I can't have the beef, so I'm going to do me a, a quesadilla. You want a quesadilla too? You don't want nachos or do you want nachos and a quesadilla? Can you grab me a pack of that meat off the back pork challenge? I'll take just a little bit of both. I heard cases do it. It's like they're good. Grab Yeah, I grabbed two. Put them in some water here. No, 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 no. They oh. go in the microwave. Oh, okay. I thought you put them in water. No, I just cut the corner off and throw them in the microwave for two minutes. Gloria says, I want both thank you, please. Oh. And thank you. <laughs> All right, we got to get some of this grease out now. I don't want to feed my family all that grease. Kroger's pulling somebody's leg. That's a lot of grease for 80-20. 80-20. I was going to use paper towels, but I'm going to have to spoon it over into a bowl. I got to get some of it out before I can even think about using a paper towel. Uh, G. Lisa, hello. Hey. How's everybody spending this Friday night? I'm going to be spending mine with whoever wants to hang out. Because I'm going to be crafting here in a little while. said, how's everybody doing? What you doing? Mary said, not cooking. <laughs> oh. Alice is watching you. Well, I appreciate that. No, nah, Becky don't do Halloween movies. Okay. I like to watch Hocus Pocus, Practical Magic. Oh, uh, not the real ones. Like uh, I don't watch scary movies. But I like the little Halloween movies. I've seen most of the scary movies and I just think they're either disgusting or, or just ridiculous. He is cooking nachos. I cannot for the life of me figure out why. When there's a killer on the loose, the first thing that people do is jump in the shower. Or behind the chainsaw. Yeah. <laughs> and why do they always trip when they were in? You ain't supposed to say that one word you said. Oh, sorry. I forgot. Facebook. But anyways, I, I can never figure it out. 
I mean, I know it's just a movie, but... Mr. Johnson, they've had a terrible time with biting black flies this year. Because mm. he's about to lose his mind. <laughs> you got to have a mind first, though. We we have had problems with these uh, little gnat little gnat things. They're either gnats or drain flies. I don't know, but they've been about to drive me insane. All right, I'm going to need a count of how many of them want to taste those. <laughs> John liked that one. <laughs> oh, I thought it was just cooked hamburger meat and put over it. Hmm? I thought it was just regular hamburger meat and put over it. No, it's taco meat and then the cheese. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know that. Okay, that's almost flipped out enough. Okay. I'm going to turn that eye down, throw this pan up there, let me get some, oh, where'd I put them? We put them over here last night. These are the two that's open. Do we have any idea how many people I'm fixing the quesos for? Uh, Devin and Dion went in one. I don't want one. Sean said, I find it easier to cook dinner with your own cooking. He's making hamburgers and fries. And Felicia says she's uh, shared for you. Thank you. Gives you the incentive to get in the kitchen, don't it, John? <laughs> All of y'all get in that kitchen. Oh, goodness. The kitchen is the hangout spot. Okay, so... Like I told y'all last night, they like queso and mozzarella on there. quesadillas. Didn't I have a quesadilla last night? Yes. Yeah, that's why I don't want one today. Hunt and Mary's here watching Gunsmoke and Becky and Allen. Aw. I appreciate all you guys for hanging out with us. Hey, tell Paula Bond, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Paula. Hope you've had a good one. <coughs> I think she made a joke. She said, I wonder if my kids will cook for me. Oh. Okay. Her made it funny. Oh, I need my spatula, too. Uh, Mary Ann, she, yes, yeah, she put taco seasoning in the meat. Yeah, there's taco seasoning in the meat that I'm putting on their nachos. She already did that. Um, I've got the cheese over here heating up in this little crock pot. I hope it's hot enough. I don't know if I put it on quick enough. But you know what, if it ain't, they'll wait for the cheese to get hot. I don't see any of them in here cooking for me. Ah, uh, there's no telling where Michelle is. Uh, I saw her a while ago headed towards her room. Okay. John said he was on the phone earlier with a family member. Mm-hmm. And he said, I gotta go. Becky's getting there cooking. 
And she oh. said, who the heck is Becky? And when did she get there? <laughs> <laughs> I guess she thought he, that you was at his house. Okay, I gotta drag this pan off because I hadn't even pulled my chicken out of the... I'm getting ahead of myself. Hey, Helen, she's just doing nachos and... They're having quesadillas and nachos tonight. And she's making them a quesadilla, but I'm just eating nachos tonight. I had a pretty heavy lunch. Ooh, this chicken's hot. Well, it did just come out of my throat. Yeah, it did. In my throat. You tell him, John. He's going to get the lights and, uh, and share. Uh, pizza coat. Yep, y'all have to put us out there. We can't do it. Patricia said, hey, Lord, I'm sorry, Miss Shirley. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Miss Shirley. Marcy said they had leftover chicken soup. Well, my crew's having the leftover chicken for quesadillas again and some uh, nachos and with uh, beef and cheese. Um, I hope this cheese is hot. The pot's hot. Hey, it says she had leftover sloppy joes and onion rings. I love some good onion rings if they're good. All right, the nacho cheese ain't quite ready. I've been trying to get bacon to do it. Devin, a here's your quesadilla. I've been trying to get her to do a blooming onion for me. Yes, we're crafting on the other page tonight. She'll be sending out a text, I guess. Yeah, I'll, I'll send out the um, telegram. telegram text before I go live. Oh, Deborah said I had leftover shrimp pork mini. So good, thanks. All right. I'll pull this off the heat to do it because my pan is hot and I've turned it down. Carol said, will you please one night make some more uh, dumplings and chicken and dumplings? Uh, yeah, I can do that. My family loves chicken and dumplings, so yes, I can definitely do that. Can I get the cheese dip? Right here. Sue, you have to go to the page, mm -hmm. click the link on where it says Telegram, and sign up for it. Wipe that off my hand so I can go into the chair. Kimberly Ann, the crafting page is called The Shabby Shack, and it'll have a picture of Becky and myself. Because there's like 10 Shabby Shacks, but you got to type in The Shabby Shack. Like I said, you'll see our picture on it. Miss Charlotte Webb said I made tuna patties and salad. 
That sounds good too. Uh, Carol, she makes homemade. She don't use canned biscuits in her uh, dumplings. A lot of people do use canned biscuits. I just always do homemade ones. Uh, Shirley, we don't know where Michelle is. She would, I saw her headed to her room a while ago. All right. I seen her earlier out on the porch. I don't think I talked to There's her. There's Dion's quesadilla. Uh, we're trying to keep the little out of the lives as best we can. I think she's out out on the uh, outside walking around with her daddy. I had to get another plate. And I do mine on the, I showed you guys last night, but I'm going to show you again. I do mine on the, um, the whole, uh, whole wheat tortillas, the extreme wellness. They're yeah, we, 60 calories and only four, four grams of carbs. Yeah, we went to the post office today. There wasn't nothing in it for a bunch of junk. Okay, mine doesn't get any of the queso cheese. Uh -oh. I wish I could get my hands to work. But you want to cooperate? Uh, I ain't nothing to get angry about. It'll get here. She'll be happy whether it's today, tomorrow, or next week. Won't you, Becky? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, Deborah said the tomato and vapor wrap are good. Yeah, I had some and forgot that I had them. They were bad. And I had to throw them out. But I, I like the tomato and basil ones too. I like them to do um, like sandwich wraps with. How did you cook your chicken? So I boiled chicken breast and shredded them up and then put them in a pan with a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of butter and my fajita seasoning. A little bit of water, cooked it down. That's how, I, that's how I did my chicken. Um, and then I freeze it in little packs of two servings in each pack. And then as we want it, we just grab it out of the freezer, cut a little area, and microwave it for two minutes, and it's ready to go. Oh, uh, it's on the sweet. She's on that working because you're natural in what you say, and you love people who are just people. Don't put on airs. Thank you. Ma'am, what you see is what you get. Oh, no, nothing fancy here, just us. Alright, let's pull this off the heat. Yep, we just us. She was making uh, chicken quesadillas. Is that real nacho cheese or is that the queso cheese? No, this is the uh, nacho cheese that I used last time that y'all liked. Okay. 
and I put it in this little crock pot because, you know, I figure it helped keep it warm. Let's get in there. Sit it down, you're gonna want it for your nachos. The cheese should be heated up in just a, another minute or so, and I will. This tiny little crock pot's taking its time. Now, the this thing is, oh, it's hot. But it's taking it a minute to get my cheese hot. I probably should just do it in the pot on the stove, but I figured this way they could make them when they were ready. Like, um, a lot of times, that was chicken about to fall down between my oven and the countertop. A lot of times, you know, everybody doesn't want to eat at the same time, and I figured this way, the cheese would stay warm, and they wouldn't have to keep reheating it. They could just sit in a little crock pot, and as they wanted it, they could pick some of them. Taste this. No. This meat. No. You just put it on your nachos. I'm just gonna put it on there. I'm not gonna use a whole lot anyway. I don't like the meat to overpower the flavor. Okay. Look, Brandon. No, we're not. shares with 200 people, that's one and a half for every 10. Okay, you said you just want a little bit of meat, not a lot, huh? Yeah, Tammy, Tammy said, if you ever grill tomatoes, onions, jelly, pepper, I had to do the queso. No. Uh, to the quesadilla, yes, I have done, done peppers that? and all in my quesadillas. You have? Yeah. That's plenty of meat. Ooh. That carried away. You know I've done, uh, you love them with the bell pepper in them. Yeah. Guys, that's, this is our simple little dinner. They're beef and cheese nachos, the quesadillas. I'm gonna go eat mine. What time is it? I don't know. It is 7:44. All right, sometime around nine, I'm gonna be going out back, and we're gonna craft. I will send out a telegram, so you guys be watching for it, and I'll see you in a little bit. Bye, y'all.